Hello friends, today I want to show you how you can create a DM file from XYZ uh, in RGIS. As you see, that is the data I have and I convert it to this DM file. If you want to do this, keep watching to the end. I have this data XYZ or long lat and altitude. So first I have to save it as but I want to create a folder, specific folder for it in disk E, new folder create DEM ok CSV and you can choose CSV MSDOS save it ok, save it yes and go to uh, GIS from file add data add xy data here first we have to connect it to the folder to the rgis choose the folder to which you want to connect it ok this pc new volume uh, new volume e and my folder create dm Okay, that is the file I have. Select it at here for X field. Select it side of T field on X axis. Okay, in Y field, select Y axis and in Z, select it, uh, altitude M. And also, we have to apply a specific coordinate system for our data from edit. Okay. That's all the coordinate system is from world. Select it WGS 1984. Okay. Yes, that's the data I have. Now we have to convert it to a TIN file. TIN file. So, uh, write TIN. or it's better to write create tin select it okay first select the path output path 3dm not this one E 3DM OK TIN Save Coordinate optional input feature we have to input this one and here we have to select it uh, altitude M to high field mass point as it is this one as it's OK just click OK now we created the TIN file and we have to convert the IM file to raster. Here we have also a TIN to raster. You can select this one or you can write TIN to raster. Search for a TIN to raster. Select it TIN. Just uh, click OK. Okay, now we created our uh, DM file from XYZ. If I uncheck this to one, you see that is the DIM, and also I can ch uh, change some properties for it. Right click, properties. I want to change the color. Apply gamma stretch. Uh, also, I want to apply a uh, cold hot color for example this one apply ok you see the high uh, elevation is 654.9 oscars and the low elevation is 228.52 that's the dm file from xyz i hope it can be helpful have a nice time see you in next tutorial